Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this first Edge TX snippet, I'm going to show you how to flash Edge TX firmware on your radio using the Edge TX Flasher. Edge TX has introduced a new way to flash firmware on your radio with a program called the Edge TX Flasher. It uses DFU mode on your radio in order to write the firmware directly to the radio without the radio even really being powered on. This is a brand new installation of Windows. The only USB driver I've installed on this computer other than what came stock with an install of Windows 10 is the STM USB VCP drivers required for Betaflight to work. There's a link in Betaflight right here to get there. And one surefire way to test to see if this DFU flash mode will work is if you take a USB cable and plug it into the top of your radio and then just take a look at Betaflight. And you see right up top how it went into DFU mode. That means the radio is in DFU mode and it's ready to take a flash from the Edge TX flasher. So the first thing we'll do is download the flasher. I'll put the link for this in the description so you don't have to remember it or write it down. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. So download the flasher first, and then under Assets, you can either download the Linux image, the Mac image, or the Windows image. In my case, I want the Windows executable. And while that's downloading, another thing you want to do is grab the contents of the SD card. It's outside the scope of this video to do the SD card install today, but basically, if you're running a TX16S, grab the horus.zip file. Plug your radio in, back up your SD card, erase everything off your SD card, and extract the contents of Horus.zip onto your SD card. That will give you the content you need for Edge TX on your SD card. Okay, the flasher is downloaded and it's down here at the bottom. I'm just going to double click on this and get it open to install. We'll click More Info and Run Anyway, ignore Windows warnings, and let the flasher do its thing to install. Launch the Edge TX Flasher and click on the flash button over here on the left hand side. For firmware branch, I suggest selecting firmware 2.4. Under firmware version, take the latest one. In the case of this video, it's 618 2021 at 0829 Zulu. And I'll be flashing this onto a TX16S. So select your radio and then click on write. Once you start the write process, you'll know if it's working fairly quickly because you'll see this download followed by percentages. That means it's writing the firmware to your radio. There's also an error message at the end that says invalid DFU suffix signature. You can ignore that. It doesn't seem to have an impact. Okay, the next thing we'll do is disconnect the USB cable from the top of the radio, power it on, and if everything went as planned, you should be greeted with a nice Edge TX boot up logo and a throttle warning. And there you go, Edge TX goodness on your TX16S radio using the Edge TX flasher. Hey, I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You can bet for Edge TX there's going to be a lot more information coming on this channel, so you'll definitely want to hit that notification bell so you know when it lands. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy.